fam, this is the Southern Girl, Shantae LaVette. And can you believe it's already three weeks into the new year? I know, time is just flying by. Well, I know a lot of you all are still wondering what are you going to do different in your home for 2015? And the biggest thing I think that you can do is to add some color. Color makes the biggest impact. And even if you just paint an accent wall, it'll definitely change your space. Right now in my home, I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, I'm using nine different colors in my house. I have painted every wall, every closet, the closet doors. I painted my countertops, which I have a video about. I painted my kitchen cabinets, which I have a video about that as well. And if you come to my house and stand still long enough, I probably will paint you too. So don't be afraid to add some color into your life. And on today's video, I'm going to be talking about the 2015 color trends. So first up are colors of the year. The company Pantone selected the color Marsala as their color of the year, which is a rich, deep wine. The company Color Futures selected copper orange as their color of the year. Benjamin Moore's Guilford Green was their selection as their color of the year. Sherwin Williams selected Coral Reef which is a beautiful color. And to round out the selections, Pittsburgh Paints selected Blue Paisley as their color of the year. Which leads us into what I think will be the most popular color for 2015, and that is blue. Blues are so beautiful and rich, and they just bring such an elegance to a home. What I love about blue is that we always see them in nature. We see them in the, in the sky and in the ocean, and most popular will be the deeper tone blues, the Grecian blues that you see. But of course, that's not anything that we haven't seen. This is a picture from circa 1969 with the use of the blues. Easy ways that you can incorporate this color, of course, you can always paint a wall. Using the high gloss colors are uh, will definitely intensify the richness of the blue. But if you can't commit that deep. You can always just add a couple of accent chairs, pillows, uh, draperies are always great, lamps, or just do a collection of bottles. You can incorporate this trend by changing out lampshades or your seat cushions into a beautiful shade of blue, or if you really want to step up your exterior game, paint your front door blue and that will definitely add some wow factor to your curb appeal. Our next popular colors are aqua and turquoise. Look how beautiful this dining room is. It has the use of the aquas, the turquoises, and even some of the uh, color blue. Just a very happy and vibrant room. Uh, these colors definitely lighten up a space. You can add them in small doses, i.e. the candelabra or even artwork, pillows. A great way if you are unsure if you want to commit really deep you can just go and add a couple of accent tables that room is a neutral room but it really brightens up with the use of those two tables a collection of vases are always great and the use of lamps and you can always incorporate color by adding rugs to the floor I think they're just art for the floor this is a great combination of the turquoise and the orange which leads us into our next colors which are coral copper and orange Again, an easy way that you can incorporate this color is through the use of accent chairs. Wall, you know, I'm always big about painting walls, so um, a great way that you can do that um, is to paint a room. Of course, this isn't anything that we haven't seen before. This is Architectural Digest Summer, circa 1969. And check out the orange leather Barcelona chairs. Also, the orange pillows, the artwork, and even there's a candle on the table. So there are a lot of different ways that you can incorporate orange into your decor. Orange is definitely a happy color. It is vibrant. It brings life to any space. And I know we all can relate to someone having a sofa that was similar to that one in 1969. But even if you just add orange to an accent wall, it'll definitely bring new life to your space. Our next color is olive and what I love about olive is it's such a rich color we haven't seen it in a while and now it's back um, it can be used in contemporary spaces like this one by just painting an accent wall but it's definitely not anything that hasn't been around before this is circa 1969 
the use of olive. It definitely brings a warmth to a space and grounds a space. I have a dress that I absolutely love that's olive. You can definitely incorporate this trend by using it on chairs um, or artwork. This is a dining room from Architectural Digest, summer circa 1969, and they've used the color olive on the dining room chairs as well as in the rug, so it's not a new trend. But of course, olive is being used um, in new and fresh ways. Um, this room is uh, definitely an up-to-date room that uses the olive in a beautiful way with the chairs, the pillows, just all the colors balance out really well to make this space work. And again, here's a room for Architectural Digest Fall circa 1968 with the olive and the blue. Our next color trend are bold colors and patterns. And what I love about this trend is that you just get to have fun in your home and do some things that you normally wouldn't do. This is a room from Architectural Digest Spring circa 1969. And even though the room is very neutral, you see the bold colors with the pillows being used, which keeps this room just on trend. I, if it wasn't for the TV, this room could fit a space in 2015. Just great design. But again, you can incorporate this trend by using beautiful pillows and different fabrics. Even the baskets on the side of the chair incorporates a, a pattern. So this one should be one that's fun to play around with. Up next are pastels. And of course, I do have a love for pastels. I don't know if I would incorporate them into my home, but these are some very beautiful pictures of how you definitely can incorporate the lighter, more ethereal colors, but it is not anything that we haven't seen before. This is Architectural Digest circa 1976, where it says poetic pastels. And what I love about pastels this time around is that they're not the soft baby colors that you think of when you think about pastels. They're actually coming in a little more bolder and a little more richer um, as we see in these few pictures. And I think that's great. So if you want to incorporate pastels into your decor, you definitely have more options uh, to go with this time around. Our next color trend is sour green with any color. I'm a huge fan of green, that's my birthstone. And so mixing this color green in, it's just a happy green. I think a chartreuse green when I think of the sour green, but you definitely can incorporate this on, if you would like to paint a bookcase, you can add it in with the poofs, pillows, lampshades. It's always a happy color and it works well with a lot of different colors. You can put that sour green with a pastel or even richer colors and it just works. If you're really willing to commit to an upholstered piece like in this picture, you would definitely add tremendous punch to your space. And you definitely can't be shy of color to have a room like this one. I think it's great, it's bold, it's daring, and all of those colors just really work well together. Up next are neutral grays. This has been a color trend that's been going on for a few years. And just look how beautiful this bedroom is. But don't let it fool you. To create that warmth, that texture, using all one color, a monochromatic color scheme, definitely requires a skill level. And these are rooms that show that beauty of a monochromatic color scheme. Up next, warm tones and renaissance colors. And what I love about this color trend is that you can actually use colors that would be considered pastels, but they're stronger, deeper, richer. Uh, you don't have to go with the, just the lighter palette, but this is a great use of those colors if you like them, but you want them to be a little richer and warmer. That's definitely going to be pretty hot. You'll be able to find lots of accessories, but they're just a little more muted. The Renaissance colors, of course, are colors, um, I threw this picture in, a great Renaissance picture, to show the richness of the colors. And I think it's right now, in 2015, I think it's something for everybody. You don't have to be stuck doing just one thing. It's whatever your heart leads you to do in your home. And last but not least are our 60s inspired colors. Lots of times when we think of the 60s, we think of colors that are kind of wild, a little bit on the wild side, but they are definitely making a comeback. 
and this picture from Architectural Digest Spring circa 1969 you see the use of the gold orange sofas and the purple chair and in our next picture you see the true epitome of all the colors that are making a comeback you see the orange the olive the purple and even the blue so you know again as I say things that once was old are always new again so in this last picture you see the use of the olive, the blue, and the orange, all used in a fresh and updated way. Well, I hope that you enjoyed this video on the 2015 color trends because we all need color in our lives. So remember to like this video, leave a comment, and subscribe.